Hi, my name is Jill, and I am 34 weeks pregnant and three days. And I originally came here because, I guess, starting around 28 weeks, the midwife had noticed that the baby was um, transverse breech. And so each time I went, the baby was sort of in that same position where her head was here and her feet were down there. So she thought that I should come just to see if there was any possible issues that was preventing the baby from moving around. And that's how I got here. I think it was around 28 weeks that we started monitoring the situation and I probably came in around week 29 to the office and then two weeks ago I had an ultrasound where the baby was just regular breach. I don't know if there's another word for that. Breach? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, that's when the midwife also wanted me to get another positioning ultrasound a week later and what I did in between the time period was I took something called pulsatilla, which mm -hmm. is a homeopathic remedy that is sort of known to help get the baby moving a little bit. And I took that um, two times. And in between the two ultrasounds, the baby had turned. So I don't know if it was the pulsatilla, if it was a combination of that and the chiropractic, or just luck. But it seems to have done the trick. And the overall thing, most important, baby's in a natural position right. for delivery. And she was today again at the midwife. Excellent. I would say that the treatment has basically been in four stages. One is just consultation with Dr. Bagnell. Another is a thermal scan where Dr. Bagnell checks your back using heat to see where problem areas are. And then the third is the actual adjustment. And then the fourth is my favorite part, which is the heating pad massage chair. That's just sort of a relaxing way to end the experience. Is there anything that you would want to tell moms to be, mothers to be. Is there anything you would like to tell them about different ways or different choices that they have when it comes to the delivery process and having a breech baby? Because psychologically, women will just, when they find out the baby is breech or transverse, not in a natural position, they start to worry immensely. Mm -hmm. And the key is there are a lot of things that they can try alternatively mm -hmm. outside the regular uh, mainstream medical, but a lot of them don't know it. Yeah, I mean, I think the word that you used was choices, which I think is really important, which is that what is the best thing to do is just educate yourself on the different choices that you have and the different options that you have, and that it seems that for almost any issue that I've encountered so far, there's usually different things that you can try along the way as long as you know about them early enough to see if you can get um, the baby to turn or some sort of difference in the way that it was before. And so I would just see what's out there. And then um, for me, the way that I make that decision is, is that choice something that could be potentially be harmful or is it potentially something that could just keep me in the same position that I'm in now, but I might as well try it. And that was sort of how I felt about chiropractic, was that it wasn't going to hurt the baby in the end, mm -hmm. but that it could be really helpful. And it seemed worth my time to do that. Excellent. Did you know my auto insurance on a yearly basis? is more than my malpractice insurance as a chiropractor. Fascinating. That's how safe chiropractic is because we're not having to deal with a lot of the other things that other practitioners have to deal with. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are surprised to find out that my auto insurance is actually more than my malpractice insurance. Right.
the educational material that was given to me upon the first visit was interesting because it sort of helped give, lay out a visual for what it is that we're looking at and sort of how the spine and the brain work together. And while I'm not sure that I actually fit into every exact category on the chart, it seems that at least it sort of provides that basic background for maybe how those things work together and fit together and provide somewhat of a reasoning for why I feel some of the things that I do. Some of the symptoms of pregnancy. Right, yeah. <laughs>